I'm a proud Latina, I'm a proud family, of, come from a proud family of immigrants, and I'm an even prouder Democrat. And my question here today is based off a comment that you said earlier. You said that the merits of the three-fifths compromise is up for debate. So who are you, or who is anyone, to debate the merit of one's humanity? How also, how can you deny the legacy the three-fifths compromise has had, and that slavery has had on the extent of racism in the United States? Look, right here in the first row, uh, I think she got up. There's my wife, Debbie. She's from Venezuela. Her mom is Mexican-American. I'm married to a Latina. She's a first-generation immigrant. I'm a first-generation immigrant. So um, we're all coming to America and trying to make sense of all this. Now, quite honestly, I think, it's, I think you would have to admit that I have done nothing in this talk today to either minimize or downplay, far from downplaying racism, I've stressed it. I'm simply pointing the finger of blame where it belongs, and you're trying to hide it. See, the difference is, because you are a Democrat, you are willing to overlook the crimes of the Democratic Party. But let me tell you this, the Democratic Party is in fact, in fact, the party of slavery and segregation and Jim Crow and the Ku Klux Klan and lynching and all the horrors of American history, including complicity with fascism, the internment of the Japanese Americans in World War II, the, 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 the reigniting of the Klan in the, in, the, in the late teens and 20s. All of this was done by Democrats and they were opposed all along the way by Republicans. So the problem is that today, if you're a Democrat, you're a committed Democrat, you like the welfare state, you like Obamacare, or you're a progressive historian, you are in the awkward position of having to confess to a whole series of crimes that your team did. Crimes, by the way, that the Democratic Party has never admitted, never apologized for, never paid one penny of restitution for. So this is a very ugly position to be in. And the only way to do it is to lie through your teeth hide the, the actions of the Democratic Party, blame everybody else. America did it, the white man did it, the Southerners did it, everybody except the guys who actually did it. So I think that everything Dinesh said was pretty much right on here. I think that there's uh, a, a lot of people who consider themselves on the left or Democrats or whatever um, that have sort of bought into the story that has been told, particularly in the social media era and over the last 15 to 20 years, that basically uh, every wrongdoing that happened in American history was somehow the fault of these evil Republicans. Uh, and, and honestly, if you're a student of history, if you know anything about that, you know that honestly the reality is the exact opposite. Um, and it's very interesting that people have such strong feelings and such strong emotions about these things that they do not even know the facts about. Uh, and you can, you can see, like the woman, she's basically... Uh, reading a soliloquy off of her phone like she's she's not even passionate enough to really know the question and what she's asking um, and, and I think that for Dinesh D'Souza it's very interesting that he sort of gets into the belly of the beast and he fights with uh, these people on these college campuses I, I have to say and I wonder after years of us watching this stuff are, are any of these like is any of this stuff making an impact on, on the, the young minds uh, on these college campuses.